Well, from standby performer to superstar, Julie Benko has marched her band out this year, becoming one of Broadway's biggest breakout stars as Fanny Bryce in Funny Girl. And her band continues to play on this time on a new album alongside her husband. Welcome, Julie. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You know, before we started this interview, I was just saying, like, how is this moment feeling for you? Because, I mean, you just had 50 performances. Yes. As Fanny, this past weekend, um, you know, to go from standby to full-time Fanny, what does that milestone mean for you? Well, it just feels like every time I do the show, I learn more about her and you know, the character sinks deeper into my bones and I feel yeah. more relaxed and more playful and it just feels like each show is a new opportunity to to take find new things on the journey and so I can't believe that. <laughs> well, because we, you know, we were saying that this rarely happens that the standby yeah. gets to take over for the role. And you know, a lot of, there's been a lot of talk about the casting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to go from Beanie to now you, mm -hmm. and then Leah. You you've said that you're part of the fanny pack. You've kind yeah. of put a positive spin on it, which I love. Um, but how has it been, kind of keeping that ship going? It's been great. I mean, this is my favorite thing to do in the world, and I get to show up and do the thing I love the most. Um, it's also now that. I'm doing it full time. I get to be the eye of the storm, you know. As the standby, you're the new addition to the yeah. cast that night. But, you know, just last night, we had some last minute cast changes happen. Somebody called out at half hour. And so then, you know, there was a, a ripple effect of four or five different people moving into different roles. Oh and so I get to be now the person who is in the center going, oh, you're normally there and you're normally oh there gosh. and you're normally there and how can I be here to support you and yeah. also celebrate all the incredible hard work that all the standbys and understudies and, and covers and swings do. And also all of the backstage people, I mean, the wardrobe department and the hair and department. And you appreciate every little bit of all of it because <laughs> yeah. you've been kind of on the wings, kind of watching from the sidelines yeah. for a lot of this, these shows. But talk to us about Fanny herself, because is there anything about her you can relate to or anything that you've taken away from her in doing this part? Well, Fanny was a very, very hardworking person who was, she dedicated her life to the theater and the arts. And so obviously I feel right. a huge um, kinship there because I, I'm, you know, in that same tradition. And then, you know, just the fact that she was so unapologetically herself yeah. and celebrated her uniqueness. Um, she's a bagel and she never tried to be anything but a bagel and yeah. so I, you know, I take a lot of inspiration for that, um, from that in my work going forward and bringing my own unique brand of whatever I do to to all of my art, you know. And speaking of all of your art, you have a new album coming out tomorrow, right? Friday. Friday. But pre-order is available already now. Okay, so you're doing it with your husband. It's yes. called Hand in Hand. Tell yeah. us what we can expect. What's the concept of the album? So it's a duo album, um, but even though he's a pianist, he's a jazz pianist and composer, we don't, I, there are some songs that are just me singing and uh, just him playing piano, but we also have a number of other instruments that we play. We make all the sounds yes. on the album. There's like a flute, a clarinet. Yes, I play like flute and clarinet, and Jason plays percussion and a number of keyboards and, and uh, a washboard tie, which was a gift that I got for him for his birthday <laughs> a number of years ago. But That's what you do when your musical partner's first yeah. before you met. You buy t washboard ties. Exactly. You get each other. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, we do a mix of songs. We do some Broadway covers. There's a song from Town. We do people from, from Funny Girl. We do um, some jazz standards, like The Nearness of You, some of Jason's original compositions, um, including one that he wrote for me to walk down the aisle to at our wedding. Oh my gosh. And then um, we also do some classic rock. We do a Janis Joplin song. So it's a very eclectic mix yeah, of sounds music. Like it. And I think, you know, but the thing that binds it all together, it's like, this is music that we love to make. We weren't trying to fit into one genre. We're trying to bring yeah. our own unique, you know, spin, spin on, on everything. Yeah, exactly. Well, clearly you're meant to be together. Uh, and it's and congratulations on all your successes. It's Thank been, you. It, it's a pleasure to watch. And Julie and Jason's album Hand in Hand is out Friday, so be sure to check it out.